what is the secret sauce that turns a simple sales into recognized revenue in the books of a part? Is it the moment when you're going to sign a contract? Maybe when the product is shipped or perhaps when the cash hits your bank account. Don't know when we can do it? Don't worry. We are going to uncover the mystery of revenue recognition under QSGM. How we are going to recognize revenue? What is the five-step model? We are going to see each and everything with the help of example itself. Now let's understand the five-step model, what we have to follow while recognizing the revenue. First step is very easy. You have to identify the contract with the customer. Okay. In the second step, you have to identify the performance obligation. First, identify the contract. Then in second, performance obligation, identify the performance obligation. In third, you have to determine the transaction price, what price you are going to charge from the customer. And in fourth price, you have to allocate this transaction price, allocate this transaction price into performance obligation and as and when you are going to complete as and when you are going to complete the performance obligation you are going to recognize the revenue now i'm going to take one simple example so that you can easily understand what is the whole process and how we have to bifurcate the revenue as for the forever performance obligation now we can take this example future furniture sells a sofa set for rupees 25,000, 2,500. In this 2,500, sofa set is worth rupees 2,300 and 200 is for delivery, free delivery and assembly. Okay. Now in this one contract, we have two performance obligations. Now we are going to see under five step model, model how we can recognize the revenue, how we can recognize the revenue. First step is you have to identify the contract. The contract is to deliver sofa set and uh, we have to deliver it and assemble it. Okay. The value of this contract is 2500. In this, we have two performance obligations. First is to deliver a sofa set and to provide a delivery service and assembly service. For this, we are charging, for this, we are charging 2500. For this, we are charging 2500. And now we are going to import that step. We are going to allocate this transaction price. Allocate this transaction price. For sofa set, we are going to charge 2300 and for this delivery and assembly, we are going to charge 200. I think this is simple, right? Now, when you are going to recognize the revenue, first is when you are going to deliver the sofa set, you are going to recognize the revenue for sofa set. When you are going to complete the assembly service, assembly service, then you can re recognize the revenue for this uh, uh, assembly and delivery part. Now, I'll just repeat the process first, identify the contract and this in this you have to see what is your performance obligation, how much you are going to money you are going to charge and allocate this revenue, what you have received. Let's suppose in this example, we have received 2,500. 2, Out of this 2,500, 2,300 is for sofa set and 200 is for delivery and assembly. Now for this sofa set, what you are going to do is you are going to recognize the revenue when you have completed the performance obligation, when you have delivered the sofa set. And this 200 when you are going to record when you are completed the assembly services. Now, what would be the entry? Cash account debit, 2500. Sales revenue for sofa set when you have completed the delivery of the sofa set, 2300. And sales revenue when you have completed the delivery and assembly for 200. So, cash account debit, 2500. Revenue, sales revenue for sofa set, 2300. Sales revenue for delivery and assembly, 200. I hope with this. Easy example, you have understood the five step process. Now you know what is the process, five step process we have to follow while recognizing the revenue as per UMK. Thank you for watching.